To use the Q-caps, first, open the blister pack. Do not touch the spike or connector ends. Flip the sodium chloride vial upside down and push the Q-cap spike end into the rubber stopper of the vial until the spike pierces the top and snaps into place. Once the Q-cap is secured to the vial, throw the Q-cap packaging away into the trash. Remove the syringe from its packaging and do not touch the syringe tip. Pull out the syringe plunger rod to draw enough air into the barrel that is equal to the amount of sodium chloride your doctor instructed you to use. Without touching the syringe tip, place it into the connector end of the Q-cap and twist the syringe clockwise until it is tight. Slowly push down the syringe plunger to push air from the syringe into the vial. Then withdraw the correct amount of sodium chloride from the vial. While keeping the Q-cap and syringe together, separate the Q-cap from the vial by pulling up on the syringe barrel. Throw away the sodium chloride vial into your trash can. With the syringe still attached to the Q-cap, carefully secure the tip of the Q-cap over the top of the vial. Be careful not to push down on the plunger while securing the tip. Slowly push down on the syringe plunger to inject the sodium chloride into the Menipure powder vial. Keeping the syringe attached, Gently swirl the vial until the Menipure powder is completely dissolved. Do not shake the vial or else bubbles will form. Once the powder has dissolved, push all the way down on the plunger to remove any remaining air from the syringe. While holding the Menipure vial upside down, withdraw all of the Menipure into the syringe. If your doctor told you to use more than one Menipure vial, watch our video segment on how to mix multiple Menipure vials. If you recall, each vial of Menipure is a 75 IU dose. Your doctor may ask you to use more than one vial. If so, after you have reconstituted the first vial, grab a new vial of Menipure powder. Remove the plastic lid covering the vial and swipe the top with an alcohol swab. Set this new vial aside. You will now need the syringe containing reconstituted Menipure from your previous vial. Holding the sides of the syringe, separate it from the old vial by pulling up on the syringe barrel. Secure the Q-cap on the new Menipure vial. Do not push down on the syringe plunger when securing the Q-cap. Slowly push down on the syringe plunger to inject the reconstituted Menipure into the new vial with the Menipure powder. While keeping the syringe attached to the vial, gently swirl the vial until the Menipure powder is completely dissolved. Do not shake the vial. Immediately after the powder has completely dissolved, push the plunger all the way down to remove any remaining air from the syringe and withdraw all of the Menipure into the syringe. Repeat this video segment if your doctor told you to use more Menipure vials. If there is one ml of liquid in the syringe, it can only be used to mix up to six vials of Menipure powder total, which is a total dose of 450 IU. When finished mixing and withdrawing the last vial for injection into the syringe, remove the syringe from the Q-cap by twisting the syringe counterclockwise. Throw away the Q-cap with the attached vial into your trash can. Hold the syringe with the syringe tip pointing up. Twist the injection needle onto the syringe in a clockwise direction until it is tight. Always use Menipure right away after mixing. To learn how to inject the Menipure dose, please view our next video.